Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our channel, Easy and Amazing. Students, recall our previous lesson in which we have discussed about classification. Do you remember what is classification? Write in the comment section, please. Okay, right. We all are right. Classification is grouping of organisms on the basis of their similar characteristics. And we have discussed that there are almost about 8.7 million organisms present on Earth. And to study these organisms, for the easiness, scientists have classified these organisms into groups. We have also discussed that Aristotle mainly divided all the organisms into groups, which are plants and animals. In previous video, we have discussed about animals and today we are going to talk about plants. Plants are further divided into two groups. One is flowering and second is non-flowering. Let's talk about the flowering plants. Students, flowering plants are the most advanced group of plants in the plant kingdom. As their name, flowering plant itself is showing that these plants have flowers. They have fruits and inside the fruits, seeds are present. These plants have to roots, stem, and leaves. There are different kinds of flowering plants, and each flowering plant has different types of roots, stem, leaves, and flowers. For example, if we take the tree of pomegranate, it has woody stem, and this woody stem helps the plant to grow tall. If we talk about an iris plant, it does not have a woody stem. It grows close to the ground. Iris plants have long, thin stem and colorful flowers. We can also take the example of rose bushes. They grow as small shrubs, and they have a strong stem and sharp prickles. It means that there is variety of plants within the flowering plant. Getting? What is the common characteristics of all these plants? They all are having fruits. They all are having seeds inside the fruits. They are having flowers. They all are having two roots, stem and leaves. Getting? Let's talk about non-flowering plants. The name itself is showing that it would not have flowers. Non-flowering plants are those which do not have flowers, they do not have fruits, and they do not have seeds. For example, mosses, ferns, conifers, these all are non-flowering plants. Let's discuss all these one by one. So the first example of non-flowering plant is conifers. They are also called as evergreen plants. If we look at these plants, they have needle-like leaves. As they are non-flowering plants, so they do not have flowers. But they have cones and inside the cones seeds are present. When these seeds are ready, the seeds fall on the ground and make a new plant. The second example of non-flowering plant is mosses. These plants grow in water or moist places. Mosses do not have true leaves and stem. As they are non-flowering plant, so they do not have flowers and they do not have seeds. Now, here a question that should come in your mind is 
if mosses do not have seeds how do they reproduce yes please think about it and write your answer in the comment section that if mosses do not have seeds how do they reproduce students mosses do not have seeds to reproduce but they produce spores and with the help of the spores they reproduce these spores are present at the end of the stalk you can see in the picture i have marked it red these are the spores and these are present at the end of the stalk now again another question should come in your mind it what is a spore write your answer in the comment section that what is a spore students spores are small cells that grow into a new plant as we have talked about seeds that mosses do not have seeds so how they reproduce they reproduce by spores and what is a spore a spore is a small cell that have the capability to grow into a new plant and where it is present it is present at the end of the stalk getting let's talk about the fern ferns just like mosses ferns also grow in water or moist places they do not have flowers they do not have seeds they do not have true stem as we know that ferns do not have seeds so how do they reproduce yes please think about it and write your answer in the comment section very good right just like mosses ferns also have spores where they are present in ferns spores are present at the underside of the leaves as you can see in the picture where the spores are present they are present at the underside of the leaves and what is a spore spores are the small cells that grow into a new plant getting is there any confusion if yes do write your question in the comment section so students till now we have discussed about classification of living things we have discussed that what do we mean by classification classification means grouping of organisms on the basis of their similar characteristics aristotle given the term classification almost about 2000 years ago and he divided all the living organisms in two groups one is plants and second one is animals he further divided animals in two groups one is vertebrate and second one is invertebrate we have discussed vertebrate and invertebrate in detail in another video if you want to revise it you can go to the next video i will give the link in the comment section now plants are again divided into two types one is flowering and second one is non flowering flowering plants are those that have two roots leaves and stem they have flowers they have fruits and inside the fruit seeds are present while in non flowering plants they do not have flowers they do not have fruits okay then how do they reproduce they reproduce with the help of spores in ferns spores are present at the underside of leaf in mosses spores are present at the end of a stalk while in conifers seeds are present inside the cone getting i hope there isn't any confusion now if yes you may still ask me through the comment section it was all about flowering and non flowering plants i hope this video would be helpful for you see you in the next video till then take very good care of yourself and allah hafiz